What challenges do brands face? Is it that they have so many customer complaints they can't deal with them all at the same time? What, why do they slip up in these Well, I want to say one ways? thing. Um, the, the, the major problem between reputation advisors and, 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 and legal advisors is that brands tend to listen to lawyers. They never listen to people who say to them, listen, no matter what your lawyer is saying you should do, you need to take into account that the impact, the f sometimes it's, it's the, the image, the impact to the image. You could win a legal battle in court, but you could lose face in terms of reputation, trust, and that's what people need to. I, I've worked with brands where they, they, the customers would insist that the legal guys and the reputation guys work together. Otherwise, it'll never, lawyers will tell them, don't say anything or go to court, because that's, that's how they make their money. But we say to, uh, to brands, if you can afford not fighting this person, you know, you have to choose what battles you want to, cho to fight you, and what you want to be, do, to, be, to be remembered for. Now, CLC is going to be remembered for this action. It should be remembered for other things. It should be remembered for, for responding quickly to customer queries, to, to being responsive to, to the needs of these customers, and to providing the best service possible. How has social media helped create the rise of the consumer power? It has tremendously. I think a lot of brands have underestimated the, the look, social media has given, it has placed into the hands of customers the opportunity to say what they want to say behind in the, in the privacy of their own homes, on, in front of their computers, or the cameras, uh, the, their, their smartphones. They can speak to millions and millions of people out there. They are informed, they know what is happening elsewhere in the world, and the information passes very quickly. So by the time a customer has put negative stuff on your, on your website, on your Facebook page, on your Twitter page, the, half of the world already knows about it and you find yourself on the back foot. And you don't want to, you don't, as a brand reputation manager, you don't want to be on the back foot in any way. Do, do companies have um, brand reputation marketing people who focus on that? I think brands, are, well, brands that understand that are increasingly investing. In, 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 in that kind of uh, uh, function. If you take Willis, I mean, I mentioned Willis earlier. Willis is a very uh, interesting one because they put a lot of money into, you know, into managing, into protecting reputation. And I think brands should, continue, should go in that, should follow in that road. Because the thing is, um, we live in an economy of what you call the reputation economy. So without your reputation, especially if you're in an a very competitive environment, people will vote with their feet. They'll go elsewhere, they'll take their investment somewhere, they'll take their patronage to other, to other brands. So you have to, you cannot afford to have negative things being said about you, negative conversations being had about you, on, especially on social media, because people will make opinion on the basis of one sentence without going into the facts. I don't think a lot of people will go into reading a press statement to understand yeah. the full facts. So you don't want people to be there. So it's important that brands understand what it means to protect reputation and to, in, to find the right people to help them and to make sure that the people who help them protect reputation work hand in hand with the people who legally protect them because the two sometimes clash. But if you find, if, if you have a legal team that understands reputation, not from a legal, legalistic perspective, then you win because the two can work together to advise each other on how to respond, what battles to choose, what battles can be taken to the court, what battles cannot be taken to the court. So to you, you, it's useless to go to the courts and win a battle, but in the face of the public, uh, you still just not respect it. So technicalities don't help in reputation management. You need, it's the perception that you leave in the, in the, in the, in the, in the eyes and the minds of the, of the people who are observing you as a brand.